And just as this facility is destined to become a legend in modern astronomy, it carries the name of a woman who was a legend in her own right. In the 1960s, when women were rarely seen in astronomy, Dr. Rubin was credited with discovering the first compelling evidence for the existence of dark matter. And she did so while balancing both her career and motherhood. It's fitting that such a pioneering observatory bears the name of an equally pioneering astronomer. And like its namesake, the Rubin Observatory will not disappoint. Part of what makes images so crisp from space telescopes like Hubble and Webb is their vantage point from outside of Earth's atmosphere. From space, they are able to avoid the distortion of weather and light pollution, issues that typically plague ground-based telescopes. That's exactly why the Rubin Observatory was built on a mountain in the Atacama Desert of Chile, giving it one of the best observing locations anywhere on Earth. Its extremely dry air and dark skies make for the perfect conditions for ground-based astronomy. And the new observatory isn't alone. The area is also home to several other observatories, including the Southern Astrophysical Research Telescope, the Gemini South Observatory, the Giant Magellan Telescope, and the European Extremely Large Telescope. This location has proven itself time and again as an exceptional observing spot. Interestingly, the Rubin Observatory isn't run by a major space agency like NASA or ESO. Instead, it's funded by the United States National Science Foundation and Department of Energy, and is managed by the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy, 